Hello everyone and welcome to Not Our Podcast, where my chaotic friends and I share our thoughts and experiences about uni life, interesting situations we face, and more. I'm your host Tarika and today we are going to talk about weird dreams. Some of us often dream when we sleep at night and those dreams can be really odd. Here we share those weird dreams of ours. Chocolate! Fuck me, I am. Oh, chocolate, okay. Wow. I mean, she is eating, ch- she was eating chocolate. She was so. eating chocolate. Yeah, I, I am right. craving chocolate. <laughs> Even though you just ate it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so today's topic, it's weird dreams. I'm sure a lot of people have experienced weird dreams. Some people take it as, I don't know, a sign, maybe. A sign? Does sad a dreams sign. count as weird dreams? <laughs> uh... Sure. Okay. Any okay, dreams, all right, I then. guess. All right, all right then. Nightmares too. Dream sad. It's okay. I guess weird dreams. I've dreams as in the ones you you experience when you sleep, right? Not the yes, like yes, hopes and yes, dreams. Okay. Yes, yes, I don't want to judge anyone's yes, dream. Uh, life dream mm-hmm. as weird. So yeah. <laughs> true. That's true. All right. I guess for me, it's more of a, uh, like if I describe it, it sounds scary and mm-hmm. it's a nightmare, sure. But when I, when I experienced it, I didn't really feel fear. And back then there's, there was one as a kid, which was actually pretty bad. I woke up in my house as a kid, go to my parents' bedroom and then they wake up, look at me and their eyes were red. What? So I went back to my own bedroom and then my brother was sitting up in the same position and his eyes were red too. Satan? <laughs> and I don't know, I think not long after I was getting chased by some spiky monsters. Okay. Spiky monsters. Spiky. I think you played too much Dauntless. That was like back when I was a kid, Ruffy. <laughs> Unless dreams can time travel, so... Before Dauntless even existed. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that, there is one that is actually, I think that was two years ago, last year. Definitely when I was in university, I think. Mm-hmm. I was standing in an open area, kind of empty. And then uh, there is a ghost, Miss K, I think. Classic okay. long hair, you know, that kind All of right. thing. That suddenly oh. zoomed into me, not into me, oh, the shit. Uh, right in front of me. That's creepy as And well. then screamed really loudly. <sighs> I mean, they do that. But funnily, even until I wake up, I am completely unfazed. <laughs> like, I didn't feel a thing, <laughs> didn't feel scared. Didn't feel scared or you're, anything. Because you're dead oh, inside. Wow. <laughs> True. I think they're probably scared of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They scream, I scream. <laughs> yeah, Glenn's, ki- Glenn's kind of humor. <laughs> so simple minded, man. <laughs> Good one, Dika. I like. <laughs> That's why he laughs easily, right? Live longer. Monkey. Monkey humor, I swear to God. <laughs> laugh more, live more. <laughs> laugh more, live more, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, there were some cool dreams like being Iron Man or getting instant transmission yeah, the from flying Goku. Flying dreams. Uh-huh. Flying dreams are nice. But uh, besides that, phasmophobia also have affected my dreams. <laughs> phasmophobia <laughs> yeah, mixed good luck with, that. with <laughs> monsters. The ghosts are like little kids with red eyes, vamp- vampiric. I think. Shit! Why is it always red eyes? I mean, those are the you know. Classic scary monsters. And then I had to go hide and I can hear the footsteps going around, but just a dream. I hope. But still, I don't know why lately when I get those kinds of dreams, it sounds scary. Well, it, I rarely get it, but like it sounds scary. But I still, I guess like Natasha f- said, I feel dead inside. I'm already dead inside, so like I don't <laughs> feel a thing. You're soulless, Dika. Thank you, Rafi. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Moving on, we'll go to Rafi. <laughs> okay. The, this, uh, these are dreams that happened to me not long time ago, and one of them was just today. 
Oh. Okay, uh, okay. So the, okay. Just in time. So the first one, yeah. The first time, <laughs> yeah, the first dream is um, I went to New York with my family and I met with my Korean aunt and cousins, even though I have never been to New York at all. Interesting. Indeed. And then I left my Sabat earphones. This episode is not sponsored by Sabat yet, but Sabat makes great earphones. And I use it daily to listen to this podcast and music every day. Whoa. So Sabat, we're waiting. <laughs> Sponsor us. Okay, anyway, I, I stayed in uh, separate houses with, with my family members. Uh, I forgot who I stayed with, but the house beside me was empty. And the next to the empty house is where my other family was staying. In the house I was staying, uh, how do you say this? Uh, the atmosphere was weird, to say the least. It was kind of scary. <laughs> so being the guy who's, you know, actually sensitive to them, who can sense them. I did sense them, but I... But I didn't see anything. But then I saw something. I saw a mystical black mist or aura uh, coming from my room. And uh, some Ghostbusters or Exterminator was called. And then when, when they all come into my room, the, the, the aura turned into a, a very big, ugly and scary face. Red eyes. What's with red eyes, man? <laughs> know, right? red is Classic, right? A color. I mean, red is my favorite like, color I think, still. I think it's just that we're conditioned to, like, fear them. I don't know. That's right, that's right. Hmm, okay. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. And then everyone just ran away. And we've never came back to that place. And then uh, I went back here <laughs> to home home. Uh, I was on the plane feeling happy, you know. Yeah, we're going home after that scary stuff. And then suddenly my, my plane fell. Holy shit. shit. <laughs> I know, right? That, that went from 0 to 100 real fast. I know, right? <laughs> but that's not the weird part. The weird part is where when I survived the plane crash. So I survived the plane crash. Uh, I was stranded on an island. And on that island, it turned out that I have the same powers as Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, you you went to Green you were, uh Green Hill yeah Green Ooh. Hill fucking shit <laughs> all right um and then there was this villain <laughs> don't tell me it's not correct man <laughs> no this villain I don't know what what kind of villain th- this person was um he forgot Sonic's name so he was like I finally found you Soner uh <laughs> Sony uh and then. I just I just replied in frustration. I replied in Indonesian, Sonic go block and then I woke up. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> I couldn't move on from that. Dollar store Sonic. <laughs> Rocky is uh, indeed the dollar store Sonic. He's not Sonic, uh, he's Sanic. So weird. He's Sanic. <laughs> Sanic. <laughs> Sanic. He's Sanic. <laughs> I'm Sanic. Okay, the second one is weird. And it's kind of scary because it felt real, but it was just a dream. But I don't know. Uh, so the second dream, I think it's just a week after the Sonic dream. <laughs> uh, I was at McDonald's. Okay, where else would you get your burger and fried chicken? Burger King. Burger King. No. Burger King. <laughs> actually Shake Shack. Fried chicken. Yeah. Magni number one. Shake Shack. All right. <laughs> and Fat Hippo. Okay, go on. Um, so I was waiting in line. And then when I finally got to the cashier, um, the door beside me opened really slowly. And the cashier was like, insert the ghost name here. Like, you know, Mr. G, the big guy. Gundu. Ru. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shit. Oh, sh- Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Go the on, go on, G. go on. The big G. The big G. So I replied, uh, what? And then suddenly it was very hot. Oh boy. As if the real thing oh was boy. there. Oh boy. Jeebus. So for, for the listeners, for context, there is a paranormal entity that's famous for being a large black being, has red eyes and large teeth, usually found under huge trees. And they're really, really bad because they rape women. They're bad Such years. assholes. They're bad yeah, news. like some some man, really. I know, right? <laughs> and the feeling uh, when you get while well, you're near one is 
it's very hot. So I felt it. I felt the heat. <laughs> yeah, it felt very hot. Even though my 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 room was very cold, like now. Um. So, anyway, back to the dream. I saw the door opened and I stared into the room. It was very dark. You couldn't see anything. And suddenly, a loud whisper says, "Yes." What the? Damn. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I tried to scream, but my voice wouldn't come out. So. <laughs> I struggled and struggled, and I finally woke up from being too terrified. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. It was like around three to four a.m. So no. it was kind okay, of creepy. Um, yeah, that is creepy. <laughs> you woke up at three or four a.m. Yeah. Usually, it means someone something is staring at you. I thought like. Isn't isn't like four a.m. or around that time is where those kinds of activities are more active. Indeed, yes. That's why it's it's creepy. <laughs> I I couldn't go to sleep for like a few minutes, and then I was like, ah, screw this. I'm going back to sleep. I'm too, I'm too sleepy, and I slept. <laughs> Surprised it was only a few minutes. Uh, I I I wouldn't even bother anymore, man. If someone's <laughs> watching. Okay, go ahead, watch me sleep. There's nothing out of it anyway. <laughs> And the last one is today. <laughs> I dreamed about it today. Um, I had a dream uh, this morning when uh, where I was in a music school, and we were going to be sorted based on our skills on musical instruments or singing. Everyone did a great job, so yeah, it was really good. And then it was my turn. When I got to the stage, I realized uh, the guy who's been playing the piano while people are singing was. A gaming YouTuber, I I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so weird. And then he asked me, "Okay, so what song are you going to sing or play?" I replied, "Fly me to the moon," and I'll do it on the piano too. Which is funny because I haven't been playing the piano since I don't know years. <laughs> uh, I tried playing it on the piano, but my skills were too rusty, just like real life. So I just decided to sing, and then suddenly I was singing so good, just. Like Michael Bublé, good. Wow, Damn. nice. <laughs> I would like to hear that. <laughs> After I was done singing, I woke up, but I felt good though because I was able to sing like Michael Bublé, even though I'm not as good as him or as good as any artist. <laughs> That's it. Those are my weird dreams. The YouTuber being the pianist, I think it was influenced by the uh, YouTuber friends yes. that you were so happy about <laughs> that you got was, in Dauntless. Yeah. That, yes. I just want to add, I just remembered like something I've prepared, I forgot to mention. I dreamt of uh, monkeys taking over the world. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I think... No. together strong. <laughs> See, I, it's kind of mixed. I don't, I don't know, like, is there an episode in Fairly Odd Parents where there are monkeys all over the place and like Timmy is in a barrel walking through the city or... Because it's kind of mixed. I remember that happening to me, but like I also remember that being an episode of Fairly Odd Parents, but I don't think that happened. There, There is a monkey episode of Fairly there? Odd Parents. I guess I was influenced by that then. <laughs> monkey taking over uh, the world. I hid in a barrel and then I got caught and then uh, some monkeys tried to experiment on me, but before the first needle or something was injected, I woke up. I think you were kidnapped by aliens, Nika. You were almost probed. <laughs> monkeys are aliens. Oh my god. <laughs> aliens are monkeys. Monkeys are us. We are aliens. We are aliens. We are monkeys. <laughs> to, to other people outside our planet, yeah, we are aliens. Mm. Monkey. Right. Mm, monkey. <laughs> uh, Glenn. Uh, I think I only have dreams when like I don't sleep well. What you call it? If I if I'm happy or whatnot, like I. Uh, or not not happy I guess like if I if I sleep well then like I don't usually have dreams but I guess recently it's like it's been shut off I've been shut off from the outside world I've been having dreams sometimes most of the dreams are usually I guess like there was like this one time where like I I I just finished school it was just like a day or two after like the giving of like your GPA and whatnot and then I dreamed of like being at school, high school, and then having like an exam. I was on my pajamas and then like I was doing an exam. It was so hard. 
And then I woke up. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. I graduated already. <laughs> Shit, why? <laughs> But like, it felt so real. PTSD is like. real. I know, right? Yeah, and it's like it, it happened like a couple times too. Like in high school, I I dreamed of uh, me having like a test in in primary. You know, like you, Rafi, do you remember that that small room beside like the locker? It, was that ever a thing? Where back in school? Yeah, back in like primary. Uh, there, there's like this shoe locker if you remember, like this hallway that has like the shoe locker or bag locker or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering, but Man, um, I remember like there's a a hallway with like shelves. Yeah, a hallway with shelves is so narrow, and like it leads to another room, right? And then like it also leads to a classroom where like we usually had uh Chinese classes, I think. But for some reason, like that that's also like popped up in my dream several times. Uh, and I, of course I'm. Either not wearing pants or I'm wearing pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> um, school-related stuff aside, you know, recently I've been having dreams of going outside. It's so sad, like go- going to like like malls sometimes or or just outside, you know. And I would like Afa. I I dreamed of like going to a uh, uh, comic festival, you know, like a, yeah, a, a convention at least, you know. And then I was I freaked out because I was not wearing a mask. Oh yeah, COVID <laughs> literally affected our dreams. I know, right? And <laughs> like I think like it was towards the end of the dream where I was starting to get lucid, where like I freaked out, right? But like I freaked out. Oh, shit, I'm not wearing a mask. And then like I woke up, you know. And and those are like the recent dreams, right? Because like uh, it's like a COVID thing. Like bef- before this, I've never really had dreams of going outside, you know. So so that so that's weird, you know. It's like I'm having dreams of normal daily life w- when I'm in quarantine. So uh, yeah, you you just miss going outside because, because usually I don't really have dreams. Like I sleep good. Like uh, what you call it? Before this, I don't really remember too much. But like since the quarantine started for over a year, I guess it's it's been going on for quite a while. Um, every time I dream, it's it's about just regular shit you know mm-hmm. but then like, this is oh, actually shit, very interesting yeah, yeah. I've, so, I've, i've never really heard about quarantine or like covid actually affecting people's dreams it, it does because stuff uh, this stuff actually like goes down into our subconscious and stuff yeah i guess so like when it becomes a habit and what when wearing mask becomes the normal because like the norm um our brain also registers it like that so like whenever we dream without that we are not wearing mask it just feels really weird that's right that's right it's like my dreams recently just going back to school going to like uh, places you know like hanging out with friends right it's like it's, it's so life. weird yeah it's just the, your daily life but like you know some some weird shit of course happens like uh what you call it some people aren't supposed to be there you know some people are adults suddenly or like some people are young children or whatever but aside from that it's it's just normal life shit and uh at least recently because yeah uh the dreams i had before i don't really remember except for like my fever dreams i guess like when you're like having like a fever i used to have like these fever dreams when i had like typhoid i think and then like when i had uh dengue fever And then when I had also like this diarrhea for no apparent reason, I think it was like an infection from my toe. It's just like weird shit. Like I needed to like go through a hole that increasingly gets smaller. And it's because like I, I was like on the I like what you call it uh, hospital bed, and like in, beside me there was like this railing that had like this hole, right? And like I dreamt of that, but I it increasingly got smaller, and then to the point like it it got like infinitely small, and it's like I couldn't get through, and I was so frustrated. I can't I couldn't go through. It's just so weird. And like I ended up like jolting, almost falling down from my bed because I apparently tried to go through the hole or something. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, fever dreams are weird. Uh, yeah, they are. And apparently, my my parents said like I used to like sleepwalk when I when I have those fever dreams, uh, especially as as a child. But I don't remember sleepwalking. I remember the fever dreams somewhat. It's, Well, I don't remember them anymore, actually. But um, I remember having them, and uh, I woke up standing up, right? Like, uh, or like sitting up, right? And then my my parents are like beside me, worried because like they were taking care of me because I have you know sleeping 
when having a fever as a child is dangerous, right? Mm. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. I think. <laughs> All right, Jess. <sighs> yeah, I'm here. Don't really have many weird dreams. It's either I don't have any or I don't remember any. Like honestly speaking, I don't remember any dreams I've had the past month. Do you remember any like dreams from at all? Any time. It's like the feeling that when you wake up in the morning, like oh, I just had this dream about. Suddenly, like you just your mind just went blank. You're like you're forcing yourself to remember, but you don't remember anything. Then, like the next week or the next day, maybe, like sometimes you feel like deja vu. Like I think I've seen this scene like in my dreams. No, it's that kind of weird dreams that I have. I guess. Do you guys relate? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That happens yeah, yeah, yeah. quite a lot. Oh, yeah, I get it. You know, sometimes I've been deeply thinking about like. I play some games like virtual novels, like the game you play with choices all around, right? Sometimes I feel like dreams that I have are actually choices made by the players up there who's playing my life as if it was a, a novel. <laughs> it's like it's like the deja vu I feel is like I think I've, I've like I've seen this scene before, like. But then I try to make the other choice. Like it just it just went into your mind like oh I think I've seen this scene and I think I think I entered it this way or I I act this way then you try to act differently then yeah like the deja vu feeling is just gone like after that it's like oh what I don't know what there is but I feel like deja vu feeling can fade away pretty quickly like even for Jess he tried to make the other choice me when I experience deja vu I try to look forward what what's gonna happen next but either way deja vu feeling is gone. Yeah, that's right. I don't know if it relates to dreams or not, but yeah, I guess like it's just weird. I don't, I don't know how it goes. Has it happened to you more than once? Like, I mean, the more, same, more. the same scene happens to you more than once. Yeah, it does. It actually does. Uh, I think I remember a time like during college. I remembered myself going to. It's like in the college, there's like a swimming pool, right? Then. To get to the swimming pool, you have to like get a medical checkup in the hospital. Then blah 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 blah, and then you need to buy the shorts and blah blah blah. It's like I went there with friends. I get the feeling of deja vu. It started, and I was like, I did my medical examination, and I remembered that I think the medical examination has expired. I was like, uh, this not this this isn't gonna happen, right? And it does. And I was like, uh, I think I've seen this somewhere. Really, uh, I think this happened. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Oh, 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 I I remembered a weird, a weird dream. It's not a weird dream, but actually it's like a nightmare, I guess. It's like I was drunk with my friends. And then we went back to our room drunk and we took a bath, blah, blah, and we slept, right? Since my friend is drunk, he said he can't sleep. So he started playing games while I sleep. Then like, I think at three, at three in the morning or four, he said that I suddenly woke up and I started sitting on the bed. Yeah, kneeling, kneeling. Yeah, kneeling. It's actually like kneeling. Yeah, I was kneeling. Then suddenly, I started opening my cupboard, since my cupboard is right beside my bed, right? I started just, just rummaging around my clothes. My friend saw me, and he asked me, like, what are you doing? Why aren't you sleeping? I was, and then he said that I answered, I'm searching for my phone. Where is it? It's gone. It's not in my hand. It's not in my head. My friend was like, what the? What is happening to this guy? <laughs> Then I think the next thing he told me about, like, after that, I just suddenly, like, oh, my phone's right beside me. And I just went back to sleep, like, boop. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of creepy, I feel. Yeah, and kind one of. More, <laughs> one more thing, it's, like, during a camping, this is in college, too. So, it's, like, the Indonesian organization has, like, a LDK. It's, like, a leadership camp, basically, yeah. And basically, it's just a fun camping here and there. Uh, one room is four person. So there's like a huge bed, which can fit four people. And like me and the other three friends, like, yeah, it was like around two or three. This one, I kind of remember because I woke up right after it. My friends said that I suddenly woke up speaking some gibberish, some Chinese, some language they don't understand, and some English. But the English they said is gibberish. They can't understand what that is. After that, I... You go the back next to thing, No, I woke up. I actually woke up. After that, I remembered, I was like, why are you guys looking at me? Like, why aren't you guys sleeping? They were like, uh, you're weird. <laughs> what happened to you? I was like, oh, <sighs> nothing. And then I just went back to sleep. Like, next day, they told me all, all about it. Like, 
But the thing is, I never, I never remember any of my dreams, for some reason. Well, I mean, it's normal to not remember your dreams. It just doesn't stick to my mind. All right. That's all. That that's why I have like no stories to tell, honestly. Other than this weird, weird what incidents, nightmares. Yeah, incidents. Like you don't remember anything, but your friends tell you that you sleep talk yeah. and such. Yeah. Yeah. I remember once that I was sleeping in my room. I didn't know what happened. Like my room is in the thirteenth floor, and then like the next morning I woke up. I remember it was like eight or nine. I fucking woke up in the 16th floor in the in front of the elevator what in the, the sofa. Fuck? What? <laughs> what? The, did you yeah, like go that upstairs? Oh, that shit. I don't know. That I actually don't know. Like the the place is like there's a lift, and then when you go out of the lift, there's sofas. Then you go to the corridor, basically like a hotel or like yeah, dorm basically, right? Yeah, I was sleeping in that sofa right there, like in the 16th floor. Did you panic or anything or like when you wake I was up? Like, Oh, what a good sleep! And I woke up like, why is it the lift in front of me? Why am I not sleeping <laughs> in my room? And, and I'm just like, okay, sure, I just go back. Nothing happened here. Yeah. Then I go to class after that, right? And the thing is, the thing is, I brought my phone. <laughs> oh, it's the phone. <laughs> Most important. That's why I woke up in the morning because there's alarm. And I was like, oh, yeah, normal. That's impressive somehow. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. So like your room wasn't locked. Of course not. Like I don't usually lock my room. You don't? I don't. Since they're like I don't yeah, there's no suspicious people in there. Ah. Not really. Suspicious people. You trust people too much. Yeah. I mean nothing happened. Yeah, but then I just woke up in the sixteenth floor from the thirteenth floor. I don't even know if I go up the stairs or using the lift. I don't know about that. Right, Natasha. Mhm. Okay, so I think I should start with um telling everyone that I dream a lot and I I have been taking notes of my dreams for years. So like I think that exercise of like keeping a dream journal sort of like helps me remember stuff better than like people who don't really write down their dreams. So yeah, I'll start with this very weird, very interesting one. This is in 26th of April 2020, yeah, last year. It's about an alien that kills people in a bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that's the title. <laughs> All right, so everything starts. I'm just reading my notes right now. Everything starts in a village, Minecraft style. Yeah, it's blocky and square. I live there in one of the houses. There are many people living in the village, and I was a thief. So once everyone went out of the village, I steal stuff. <laughs> While I steal, I almost got caught, and it, that was by like an old classmate. Um, I don't want to mention his name because he noticed something was missing, and he doesn't know who took it. So he was just angry, and while he was angry, I ran away and I put the stolen item in my secret chest. It's like under the floorboard, and like there's a chest under the floorboard. So I just covered it back up, and then he investigated all of the houses in the village. Including mine, but he couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. Then I went and go out on a raid with some people to a city near the village. We got pizza and other stuff too. After that, we went home. But then an alien crash landed in the small city we just visited, like moments earlier. The raid thing. Uh, it was shaped like a giant monkey. Mm, monkey. <laughs> I told everyone it. <laughs> Monkey again. I told everyone in the village to turn off everything and make the village look abandoned. Then I escaped to the city to hide. Why did I do that? I don't know. Um, my parents were in a hotel model Thailand style, so I evacuated them and told them to go. And right then, the alien destroyed the hotel. I was split up, so I ran into a public restroom in a building to hide. The alien went into like a human mode. Brown hair, cut like short bob style, and a long coat, and then goes into the guys' bathroom just across the girls' bathroom where I was hiding. The alien killed all the guys using its tentacles. I escaped through the fire escape stairs to the next mall, and I hid in the bathroom again, and then like escaped through the fire escape. Like this happened like in a loop several times, and then the final time was when I entered a bigger bathroom, slightly crowded. Uh. The lady entered too. What lady is this? 
Yeah, I don't remember what lady is this. I, it says the lady entered. Yeah, maybe it's, I don't know. But like the lady entered too and picks which people she thinks should die because like, yeah, the alien's coming anyway. Um, fifth in queue to die is a young girl and she wanted someone to kill that fits the criteria. So everyone pointed at me. I was like, I, I went inside toilet bowl and I woke up. This is so weird. So much details. Wow. This is why you keep a dream journal. It helps you remember. And do the opposite if you want to stop remembering dreams, which is what I'm doing right now. Well, what's the opposite? Uh, not writing? Not writing, trying to forget. Ah, I because see. like, uh, I, I've been doing this for years, so like, it's much easier for me to remember than to forget. And like, I don't want to keep dreaming. It's exhausting. So like, I stopped writing it like this year. Yeah, I got tired. <laughs> what else do you... Do you want the horror one, the weird one, or... Which one do you find really interesting, or absurd, or just so random? Uh, this one. This is food-related. 21st of January, 2021. I, uh, this is short. I was at a small hotel breakfast bar, eating crispy bacon wrapped in mozzarella and coffee with a bit of lemon. Yeah, I actually tried this in real life. Um... The bacon was really good. I did not notice Taylor Lautner was on the seat next to me, and then I woke up. That's really short. But yeah, I tried I tried making bacon wrapped in mozzarella, and holy shit, guys, it was really good. <laughs> in real life, it actually worked, yeah. Hmm. Do you want the horror one? Well, it won't be horror because it's like, you're awake. It just doesn't make sense, so like, it doesn't feel scary. What do you mean? If it's a horror story, it's a horror story. It loses its scary factor once you wake up, I guess. I don't know how to say it. Uh, this one is 21st of September 2020. Uh, it was at some sort of banquet in mom's office, and I was invited. I was eating when mom told me about the legend of a witch that appears as two legs floating. Legs, like, legs, feet, legs. She told me that she saw the witch on her way home from the office a few times. But like, I was, I was really shook, but she laughed. She she said she just laughed at it and it went away. Basically, like, you have to laugh at it to, like, make it go away. And, and then when I was at home cooking and at night, I saw that witch. It appears in front of the window where I was washing the dish, dishes, um, like, in my in my house back home. Um, I pretended to not notice it. And continued to cook chicken. After that, I went back to the banquet hall. And that was where the witch found me. I ran out. She get like chased after me. And when she got close, I pre- pretended to not notice. And that she did not exist. And like, of course, she got annoyed and ended up capturing me. Then I shot her in the head with a gun. Okay. But she was still alive. <laughs> I escaped to the window. But the window, the, but the witch followed. And I, and then I woke up. That was so weird. Interesting. That is... <laughs> it's like... It's like if every horror story, like, the ca- the main character brings a gun with them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so weird. Yeah, Exorcist, more? I, ha- I have so many from... The one I have in, in here is, like, from 2018. The, the ones earlier than that is not with me right now. Oh no, it's fine. We can move on. End it before the one before hour mark. one hour. Wow. <laughs> sure. Woo, We're on a streak right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ben is probably asleep right now. So maybe he'll have weird dreams. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me in another episode. Dreams are dreams. Dreams are mm-hmm. dreams. You may... Ask Mr. Sandman and to give you a good dream. Mr. Sandman. Uh, every time I ask him for a good dream, something ask bad always no happens. <laughs> ask for no dreams. It's or the don't ask. Or don't ask, yeah. Simple. Shimpuru. Shimpuru. Also, listeners out there, if you do have weird dreams you guys want to share, comment below. Or similar experiences with your dreams. Who else keeps a dream journal? Dreams are certainly an enigma. Her minds are forever an enigma. So, yeah. Thank you and goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye.